I went to Rome. I did lots of book shopping there, so I hope you enjoy book shopping in Rome with me. I spent four days in Rome, visited three bookstores, saw lots of cool sites, and ate so much pasta. And I did it all with three of my college roommates, and this is only episode one of three. I also went to Barcelona and Venice, but that's for another video. Welcome to Rome. Hello, it is currently Future Alley with a message from the future. I have already gone on my trip and I wanted to tell you guys about a big way that I prepared for my trip and that was by trying to learn as much Italian and Spanish as I could. And I did that using Babbel. Babbel is the sponsor of today's video and Babbel is a language learning tool that teaches you real world practical conversations like for business or travel or relationships and they have short 10 minute interactive lessons and those lessons are designed by real language teachers not algorithms or ai it was so helpful to go on my trip prepared with phrases to do practical things like ordering at a restaurant but also with conversational skills i was able to make conversations with local people in those countries and that just made the trip so much richer mis vacaciones serán por dos meses. Solo iremos a Lima. Plus, it's summer, it's a season of travel, it's a season of adventure. If you're going anywhere this summer, it's the perfect time to learn a language. And there's so many useful reasons to know another language from putting that on your resume or being able to connect with a family member who may not speak the same language as you. And with my link, you can get 65% off your subscription. So definitely click the link in my description to get started with Babbel today. All right, let's get back to traveling to Rome. We had a 12 hour flight to Rome, so I figured I might as well just do one giant 12 hour readathon. Just kidding. This isn't gonna be a whole 12 hour readathon, but I will tell you guys what I was reading on the plane and all my thoughts. I started out reading Love and Other Words by Christina Lauren, and I actually had this as a library book before I left, and I read most of it, but then I had to return the library book before I could finish the book. So just before getting on the plane, I impulse bought the ebook, which feels silly because I literally only had like 100 pages left, but the book was just so good. I could not wait two weeks till I got back from my trip to re-get the library book and finish it. So I think it was worthwhile to get the ebook. Anyway, I loved Love and Other Words. I would give it 4.5 stars. It kind of reminds me of Ugly Love and kind of feels like a Colleen Hoover book in the way that it was written. This book is about two characters that were childhood friends and then something happened and they don't talk for 10 years. So it goes back and forth between present day and 10 years prior when they were friends. So it's childhood friends to lovers. And there's some really sad parts to this book and the way that the authors write about the sad parts. I just felt like I was completely in the character's shoes and my heart was so broken. Ugh, this book is so sad at parts, but also so beautiful and so great. Please read this book if you haven't already. Here's my reaction to finishing the book. And I ended up starting a new book, Addicted After All, which is the last book in the Addicted series. I haven't read a book in the Addicted series in months, and I'm so glad to be back to reading this series. I love these characters with all of my heart, and it really just felt like I was grabbing coffee with old friends. I didn't realize how much I missed these characters and how much these characters feel like home, as cheesy as that sounds. Then I attempted to sleep on the plane, which did not work out very well. So welcome to Rome day one, where I am incredibly jet lagged because we landed at 8 a.m. Rome time, which is 1 a.m. Texas time. We had been in Rome all of a few hours before I found my first bookshop, or should I say book stand. There were books stacked absolutely everywhere, which was so cool. However, I didn't see any English books except for this one book. The title was in English, but the book was wrapped up, so I'm not sure if the inside was English or not, which by the way, I think it's so interesting that all of the books were in packaging because I've never seen that before in the US. Also, the stand had a variety of other stuff like postcards and paintings, which was cool. And it was so fun and cute to see a little book stand. Hello, we just finished Rome day one. If you can count it as day one, since we also landed this morning at 8 a.m., which is so early, especially being jet lagged. I am tired, it's like 10 p.m., so we're finally going to bed. I've been out for like 36 hours, I have no idea, honestly, but my jet lag strategy was just to stay awake until the time you're supposed to go to bed here, which 
has been tough but somehow i've made it and yeah we got to see some cool sights today which was fun and now i'm gonna go to bed Today we took a train to Frascati. Frascati is a cute little town not too far outside of Rome and we're going there to take a pasta making class which was so cool to take a pasta making class in Italy. We got to cut our own pasta and create the shape we wanted and then this was the final pasta and it had a carbonara sauce. And then we actually missed our train back to Rome and because it's such a small town, the next train didn't come for an hour. So we just walked around and explored Frascati for that hour. I love Frascati. It's so much quieter and quainter. Rome is so busy. Something about just like sitting in the sun, looking at the pretty buildings, walking around exploring is so nice. Like I love seeing the Colosseum, the Pantheon, all that, but this is equally as nice, if not honestly a little bit nicer. I'm in love with Frascati so far and I would love to go to other different little areas outside of Rome that, yeah, I don't know, are a bit like quieter, quainter, like I said. There's a little neighborhood, I can't remember the name, I'll put it up on the screen that I really wanna go to because it looks really pretty and it also looks like there's some really cool bookshops there so hopefully I get to go to those because that'd be really fun to show you guys and I also really wanna check them out. Today was our big sightseeing day. So we hit all the major spots like the Colosseum, the Roman Forum, etc. And then we went to that little neighborhood that I was telling you guys about called Trastevere and saw the coolest, the coolest bookstore. It had this big archway inside, which was so cool. And there was a decent amount of English books that I recognized like the Harry Potter series, the Lightning Thief series. Also the House of Night series, which is about vampires. And I do really want to read that series at some point. And then also the Twilight series. And there were books everywhere. Very much the clutter aesthetic, if that's a thing. I'm here for it. I love it. Overall, I didn't see a ton of Italian books that I recognized. I wished I did so I could compare the American to the Italian covers. But this one I did recognize. Harlem Shuffle by Colson Whitehead. And this cover is really similar to the American cover. It's just slightly different. So it's cool to compare the different designs across countries and they had some really cool prints on the wall which like I said really is like the clutter aesthetic that I love and they had also a one euro book section and then we got dinner and headed back to our hostel. Good morning. It is Rome day four, kind of. We're leaving today, so probably not gonna really do anything today, but the bookstore we went to last night was so cool. It was kind of like exactly what I was looking for. I don't know, there's obviously tons of modern bookstores, but I was trying to find like a really quaint, like older bookstore. And yeah, that was exactly it. I was surprised how many English books there were in the bookstore. A lot of like older series that I recognized, like The Lightning Thief, I saw Twilight, which was so funny. And they also had a little French section, which I thought was cool. And then obviously a lot of Italian books. Wish I could get books, but I do not think I have room to carry anything back, but it's still very cool exploring them. Then we only had like 40 minutes before we had to leave for our flight. So I dashed to Bori Books. It's very big and very modern and it's in the middle of this train station. And here are some covers that I thought were so pretty. Like look at this, the colors, the way it's designed. Oh, and this cover is stunning, absolutely stunning. This is the Italian version of Cloud Cuckoo Land. To be honest, this book does not sound like something I would typically enjoy, but I've just heard so much about it, so I feel like I have to read this book at some point. I have absolutely no idea what this book is about because it's in Italian, but I liked the cover. It looked like something that I would enjoy. And then I found the English section. They had a really good sized English section. I just looked this book up and it got really bad ratings on Goodreads, but the cover is so pretty. Call Me By Your Name, oh, I do want to read this book at some point. The Age of Innocence, it's a romance that takes place during 1800s New York. To Italy with Love, a romance set in Italy, that sounds perfect. And this is the third book in a series, so couldn't read it, but the cover was super fun. 
The bookstore in the train station was so cute. It was really big. I was surprised how big it was. And I would say it was like 80% non-English books, but they had a English book section that was a decent size because it was a really big bookstore. But yeah, there's also a lot of really cool Italian covers. And it's cool that the bookstore is all glass on the outside and it's in the middle of the train station. So it's like this quiet bookstore. And then around you is just like chaos of like everyone trying to find their trains and like getting their luggage and stuff. That is our conclusion for Rome. It has been so cool being here. It's crazy just like how old everything is. Like some of the sites we're seeing are from like 100 AD and stuff, which I just like my brain can't even wrap my mind around that. Like how old that is and how long that structure has been standing and what life was like back then. I don't know, it is mind blowing, but I'm about to eat breakfast and then I will see you guys in Barcelona.